AL General Assembly last July, Speaker Judy Wampad introduced a resolution expressing support for a regional health care network. Since then, she's been working with health insurance companies and making presentations to all the governors and presidents throughout Micronesia. And the last thing we're trying to do now is to get funding from the Department of Interior, uh, who supports uh, the idea of doing uh, this regional health care system. Uh, what we're requesting for would be funding to be able to do an actuary, or we want to do two actuarial study, one strictly uh, throughout Micronesia, and the other would be just for Guam and CNMI for Medicare and uh, MIP. Wampat has since received a letter of support from the Marshall Islands president and met with Governor Eddie Calvo this past week on the matter. She hopes to get support from other governors and presidents who are part of the Micronesia Chief Executive Summit. We were told, of course, on the site that it definitely would make our case stronger uh, in the request for some money to be able to do this study. Wampat says her hope is to secure $400,000 for the study. But why is establishing a regional health care system so important? It's very important because you, you've heard this, the people of Guam have heard this time and time about the impact, of course, of, you know, our brothers and sisters coming to Guam. I, I know it doesn't address everything else, but one of the biggest, of course, is health care. And uh, so it's important for us to uh, reduce, of course, uh, the impact to the island. More importantly, it gets everybody in, uh, insured, covered by insurance. And when the study is completed, Wampet hopes DOI can look over how this network will be cost effective to ensure everyone, along with the possibility of reprogramming compact impact money given to the islands. We've seen them do it even for education, so why not for health care? And when that happens, we get everybody insured. So when they travel, uh, they would be able, no matter where they go, and, and we're hoping to get Hawaii on board as well, uh, especially with the most recent uh, decision made by the courts in Hawaii. It was back in April when the Ninth Circuit Court of Appeals ruled that Hawaii has no constitutional obligation to fill a gap left in 1996 when Congress cut health care funding for migrants under the Compact of Free Association. In the meantime, Wampad will be going off island later this month to visit the region's leaders. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Ken Kinti.